Hi, this is Danny from Living Free Over 50, and today we are talking about Capitol Reef National Park. I love this place, it's no surprise. I am completely in love with Utah. This is my third national park in Utah, and I am loving it more and more and more. I may never leave. Haha, -ha, just kidding. I'm definitely leaving. <laughs> But I'm definitely enjoying my time. Golden Throne viewpoint. This is just just a pretty rock formation. It is kind of like a Golden Throne, isn't it? And there's a backstory to this hike right here. This is not one of the main hikes, but a lot of people who are really into hiking knew about this trail, and I actually had a guide who took me back, um, and so a new friend that I met, and so. We're walking right by the creek, which is so nice. We've been in the high desert for a while. It's so nice to be in water, to be near water. We were just walking on the edge. You can see very close to the edge, my little hiking stick. And yeah, now just this view. Mm. And all the time we were leading to here and the petroglyphs. And it's really fascinating because you have these ancient carvings and then you also have images that the European settlers left. So here are some of the ancient carvings. See the big horned sheep? Well, there's a story here too. I'm very proud of myself for hiking up this part. All, this, all these rocks, I hiked up them. I didn't scale the big rock, but I mean, I hiked up those rocks before to see these sheep because back... <laughs> Back at the last stop, people were like, oh, if you just go 50 more yards, there's some more cool sheep. I was like, 50 yards, I can do that. It was more like 300 yards around the corner, and it was almost straight up, and it was over a bunch of rocks. But I managed to do it, so I was very proud of myself. And as we go through a few shots of scenery here as we're driving through the park, I just want to share that some of the other parks are extremely, extremely crowded. I was turned away from arches. I couldn't get in the first day. The next day I went very early. I still couldn't get parking in the trailhead that I wanted. Um, at Zion, they are shuttling people. They won't even let you really drive through. In a time where there's a lot of overcrowding and things, Capitol Reef I find is kind of underrated. It's a little more out of the way, but not much. It's very close. That's right. And I would just encourage anyone to consider keeping it on the list, consider going there. Here's the Capitol Gorge Trailhead. I'm gonna show you some video of walking down this trail, walking down this gorge. It's so cool, and as you can see, just mountains and huge boulders and formations on either side. You're basically walking through an ancient kind of riverbed and I was just kind of showing some of that and then some of the different formations and stuff like the big holes out of the side. Yeah, very cool. Just so interesting to look at. At a certain point you just get kind of overstimulated and there's so much, there's only so much gorgeousness I can take like in one day, you know? I've talked to a lot of people as we're traveling and I don't know many that would list Capitol, Gore, Capitol Reef as their favorite national park of the Utah Big Five, but look at this place. It, it truly is just awe-inspiring and I loved it and I loved being close. This is one of those rare times when you're kind of up looking down. It's not near as impressive when you're like that to me being up in it and just being close to everything is much more affecting. It's much more emotional almost. This, it, your neck will probably hurt after, after Capitol Reef because you're looking up so much because you're so close to everything. There's another part of a trail that I did. I was so proud of myself for crawling all over all those rocks and everything. Just looking up at that sky, looking straight up. Another thing I love about Capitol Reef is just the different variations. There's so much variety. Here we are at that um, gorge again as we're walking through. And here's some of the European settlers that I was talking about. I got a closer view of this one. M. Larson, November 20th, 1888. 
there's another one coming up too where here you see it it's in the very middle of this great big rock you can't even really see it so i get a close-up and it's john stewart quimby stewart um and i guess it's listing everybody in the family and this one is from 1911 you can see that you could see that over to the right it said 1911 and had the date on that one so cool again here i'm really just showing so much variety look at the the, the striations or however you say it of the rock and here are a few of those needles like we saw at the other park those particular formations which are just gorgeous oh here i threw in a picture of my shoes because a few videos ago i showed you my brand new shoes and now they're filthy dirty but man i'm so happy they're dirty and now i threw in a picture of a dead tree just because you know how i love dead trees thanks for sticking around catch you next time